To the Krusty Cranks we're making channel. Um, today we're going to be painting CC005. This is the Neon Bengal Tiger. Um, so really super easy paint job here we're going to do and we're going to be using a stencil. Um, so yeah let's get things uh, ready to go and we'll knock this paint out. All right so first off we've already got our bait primed with uh, golden titanium white um, that's my new white I like that paint now um, I was using the createx and I was using US art supply opaque whites um, the US art supply I kind of like it works sprays pretty good um, I, I like that it's got a flat finish to it so um, the opaque uh, createx just too chalky for me and too much tip dry it's uh, you really got to do a lot of reducing to get that down to where it uh, sprays, and I don't know. I just didn't have, I haven't had much luck with it. I've seen other people use the uh, golden high flow acrylics, and um, so far I've done probably about ten or fifteen baits for customers, and uh, I'm telling you, I just love the way it sprays. I love the way it lays on there. It's a little bit of a gloss finish, as you can see, but. Um, you know, I, I just, I just really like the way it sprays. I'm real happy with it, and that's going to be my new primer, um, at least for now, unless I try something else. But I don't know. I might go to US Art too. I like that opaque. It sprayed pretty good for me. But I only had a small bottle, and I thought, well, I'm going to try the golden. So, so far, golden titanium white. That's the one you want to use if you're painting baits. All right, second color we're going to use today is the U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Color Neon Orange. I like the way these, they don't get much, uh, they don't get much, what do you say, props from a lot of bait painters. You don't see it, but I don't know. I'm, I'm happy with them. It seems like they sprayed really nice in my guns. I like some of their colors. They're really bright. Um... Shipping them sometimes getting here seems to be a problem. They always usually have some problem with damaged packaging or spilling packaging and stuff like that. That's what the what the reviews always say on Amazon. But uh, you know this one, this paint came to me okay, so I'm happy with it. Um, so it's a special effects color, neon orange. We're going to be using that guy, and the second color, third color, we're going to use is we're going to use some createx opaque black now the opaque black spray is pretty good for me it's really just the white it seems kind of really chalky i bought a big bottle of it um it was like an eight ounce bottle i believe it was or, yeah eight ounces and it was just really chalky i just really wasn't happy with it but this black spray is pretty good so these are the three colors we're going to use on this bait today and i'm going to show you my stencils that i make and we're going to knock this dude out so we already got the white on there we'll set the white aside set the neon and the black aside and got my brush all cleaned out i actually sprayed these earlier this morning so they'd be good and dry by the time i got ready to lay the orange on but i'm not too worried about it with the orange it's gonna uh even if it was still a little wet, wouldn't hurt nothing. It would just absorb up in there a little bit. But I might have to spray a little bit more paint on it just to, just to get the bait covered. But we're spraying the whole bait in this neon orange. Really bright laser color. Um, if you haven't fished with this color, you'll know when you fish with it. Uh, it's, it's a dynamite bait. Um... Especially right now we're getting into getting into fall good bass season so water is going to start clearing up a little bit as the algae start to die uh, and these bright colors are really going to really going to stand out in the water um, 
and I'm gonna eventually I'm gonna run some of these baits in my test pond out there um, I got a video coming up to show you my test pond um, it's it's got some bass in it got a bunch of bass in it not as big as I'd like but I'm not really worried about big I just want to see the action on these baits uh, I still got a little cleaner in there it looks like a little modeled so um, but yeah I got I got a bunch of bass in there um, got a bait pond that I been pulling bluegills out of you'll see a video on that coming up I've been pulling bluegills out of there try to get them get these bass sized up a little bit yeah so I'll start talking about that and it's modeling up on me I think I just got a little bit of too much cleaner in there but we're gonna air dry it and hit it again we'll cover that over no big deal no big deal Sorry if I'm out of camera. I'm tr try to stay in the camera. It's I'm so used to putting my baits up close to me when I'm looking at them that I forget I got a camera on sometimes. All right, so let me dry that. I'll bring you back and we'll hit it with another coat. There we go, that's a little better. I just had a little, got a little anxious there, had a little cleaner in there still. Didn't spray out enough through my, through my brush. I'm gonna turn this pressure up just a little bit. Got a little anxious, didn't have enough, but luckily I'm just painting a solid orange over it. actually I will demonstrate a technique at some point on a bait where I actually will get that modeled effect on purpose it gives it a really cool effect but not on this particular bait this one's just a plain and simple easy paint for beginners and I get questions all the time from people friends and stuff and people that know I sell baits and know I paint them on YouTube and they say, aren't you worried about people stealing your baits, stealing your patterns? And I mean, I'm not really worried, um, basically, because most of us bait painters, um, you know, I watch a lot of bait painters on YouTube and I've learned a lot from them, you know, and uh, a few of the guys on there that, that, that I like, you know, I would never steal their baits patterns. I mean, I watch Pitbull custom lures love watching him make lures he makes handmade wooden baits and he's got some awesome paint techniques if you haven't checked him out go check him out and uh i mean why would i want to steal his patterns i mean we're we're artists we're considered artists that so we don't need to plagiarize and use somebody else's patterns we just create our own and you know if somebody steals my pattern these are all simple bait patterns anyway that any beginner can do. I would hope they do try to paint some of them if they can learn how to be a good bait painter. You know, paint lures. It's not like uh, us lure makers and lure builders make a lot of money off of lures. So it's not really something I'm worried about. I sell baits anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't really worry about it. Maybe, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know, but most of the time, I'm, I'm probably, I've probably got 250, 300 designs that I've been writing down. And I might watch Pitbull and like the color that he's doing and say, wow, that color will look cool, you know? So I really appreciate him putting his doors up there and Zimtex and and Jekyll Productions, all of them guys painting baits. I love watching them paint baits. And it gives me inspiration, you know, to do to do something, but I'm not gonna take one of Jen's paint patterns and try to duplicate it completely. You know? That that wouldn't be cool. And not only that, I mean it's not mine. It's not mine. I like to 
create my own designs. All the designs that I'm doing, I mean, I might come try to come close to matching something, but I mean, it's still going to have my own twist on it, my own design. So, so yeah. And I mean, with today's technologies, you can, you can duplicate anything that you want, but, you know, morally, I'm, I would rather sell something that is my pattern than steal somebody else's. But anyway, enough about all that. Um, so, yeah, so we got this neon orange on here. Man, I love this color. It's bright, pops out, really looks good. Um, no pearl this time, but I am going to do something with the finish on the epoxy. Something a little different. But let me give this a dry. I'll bring you back, and then we'll put the stripes on it. Okay, we're back, folks. Let that dry real good. And uh, that neon's really popping out of there now. So we're going to put the stripes on here this time. And I'm going to go with the same style of stripe, or not the same style, but the same type of stripes that I put on the last bait in CC05, CC005. This is CC006. And we're going to put these stripes on here that I cut from my Cricut. Because I really like the way they turned out. They really turned out nice. And they're a little tough to get off at first to get them started and we're going to line that one up right against the gill get my exacto to get it started And like I said before in a previous video, these take a little extra time, but but the sharpness of them, the way they come out, is just really cool. And you'll get faster at putting them on there. Normally, I'm not working with a camera in front of me, so that always is kind of a challenge. And I like it because it just creates a really clean looking pattern. And last time was the first time I used them. And I really like the way they turned out. Alright, flip it over. Do the other side. And I can go right to my eyes because we're going to do a we're going to do a little different finish on this guy. started helps if you just use your knife or exacto and get them started
and the vinyl stuck really well with the epoxy I was a little afraid that the epoxy might affect it but it actually came out really nice so I'm definitely going to be using more of these but I'm also going to show you how to use the the negative part of it and spray also because I already done that before and that works out really cool too just different ways different ideas bunch of different ways to make stencils buy stencils but for the home bait maker there it is looks really good all right let's put some eyes on it and I think we're gonna go I don't know we're gonna this orange I think we're going to go with that blue, that blue dragon eye. Because we went with the green on the last one. So let's see what the blue one looks like. Let's see what we got to choose from here. I really like the green way the green turned out on that orange though. We want to go something different. Let's go with the blue. This is the part that always gets me, is trying to pick out the right eye. Oh, I kind of like those. I like those big pupils. All right, we're going to go with the big pupils. It's not as contrasting, but it definitely breaks up the, the orange on the face. Get some new glue. This stuff is getting hard. Really sticky, stringy. Yeah, it might be the last one I get out of that one. Yeah, look at these pu big pupils. Wow. I like that. Man, that looks cool. My furniture tool here. So I always use this little. I think I got this at Dollar General. But it's nice for pushing that down and not getting glue all over your fingers because it clouds up the eye. Look at that, guys. I like that. I like that big pupil. Kind of matches the stripes a little bit to go. When you got a bait that's only simple two colors, just picking the right eye can make a difference. See that little burnisher? I can move it around still. And make sure it all sits down in there. All right. I always like to show it from the face. I was looking at you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the stripes, came out really nice. 
All right, we're gonna pause, get you into the epoxy room, and we're gonna get some epoxy on this guy. Okay, guys, we're in the epoxy room, and um, I apologize for the AC running. It's hot as hell outside, so the AC's running. Um, got got my epoxy on. I put the first coat on. Is that where you can see it? Look at that shiny dude. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put I got some color shifting glitter so on this I'm gonna put a top coat epoxy with color shifting glitter and I'm not gonna put a lot on there I just want enough that like as it's moving through the water it's gonna reflect that light and, and catch attention so uh, yeah let's do that and I'll show you how it's done and we'll dry it and we'll wrap this video up all right, we'll hang it back up here for the moment, and we'll get it ready, get the epoxy ready. All right, so what I'm gonna do is turn this camera a little bit. I'll try to mix it right there for you, where you can see what I'm doing. All right, so, do a little bit of my epoxy. And you guys know if you've watched my other videos I like the solar res I like it just because I don't have to mix two parts and waste a bunch of epoxy and I can let it hang till it till the uh, pretty much so it drips just a little bit and gets a smooth look on it and then I run it in my UV booth and it just comes out dynamite and the epoxy itself is just it's just really a really good thick to base epoxy now I'm just putting a little dab in here I don't need much it's a polyester resin epoxy and it just dries and we've been fishing the shit out of these lures and I mean, once in a while, I mean, if you bang it off of a rock or something, you might see a little scuff in it. Um, but even with the bites we've been getting on it, I might have got a little too much, I don't know. But this is just a white color shifting glitter. I don't even remember if I got it at Hobby Lobby or it might even been Wally World. But um, and then I use these cheap brushes from Wally World. My camera thought my camera went off, and uh, I'm just gonna take and mix that up. And I just, like I said, I just want enough. I don't want to kill what I've already done with it, but I want to add a little bit of glitter to that belly and the top, and just maybe a little bit on the stripes, just to break it up a little bit. But if you can see that, it's probably going to be really hard to see on camera. But it's got a kind of a green and a blue and a white iridescence to it. So we're going to see what it looks like. You can see it on the brush. See how it, see how it sparkles. So I'm hoping this is going to knock this bait out. All right. So I'm just going to. And I'm not even going to put it on that thick. I just want it to be there, but be subtle. So as it's cruising through the light of the water reflection, there's that little bit of sparkle. I can already see it's going to be killer. I can see it in that belly as you rotate it around in the lights. I used this glitter on some other, not this particular glitter, but I used another glitter with this epoxy. 
and it came out pretty killer. And I actually was showing somebody that lure, and they ended up buying it. It's like, I'll take it. Yeah, I think it's going to help these break these stripes up a little bit and just give it that little bit of sparkle as it's moving through the water. And it's really hard to tell, I know, on camera. But... And I don't want to overkill it. I just want that little bit of sparkle so that you can see it. Yeah. Go a little bit more on this back tail. And the nice thing about this Solares is in these little cups, if I put it in the in the dark and just cover it over with some tape, it won't get hard for a couple weeks, actually. So I can come back and throw this up on the store. If somebody orders, then I'll already have it mixed to the same ratio. Yeah, I'm liking it, guys. I'm really liking it. I know it's probably hard to see on camera. But I'm telling you, that little green sparkle in there, little green and blue sparkle kind of breaks it up. All right, so I'll turn you around and just show you that I'm sticking it in my booth right away. And because I just spread that on there, it's not really going to run. It's pretty thin, just enough to get that on there. My little homemade contraption here. In this little booth and we're going to harden it for 30 minutes and you can see what that neon looks like awesome all right guys I'll bring you back when we're all done got it cleaned up and um, We'll wrap this video up. Okay, guys, here's the finished piece. Yeah, that glitter looks freaking awesome. Okay, wrapping it up. Um, we had three paints. Well, actually, we only ended up using two paints, which was the neon orange, titanium white, and then we used the black stencils. Then with the two coats of epoxy, with the top coat being uh, iridescent white glitter, color shifting glitter. So, looks good. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. If you like this video, give us a like. Um, hit that notification bell so you get notified when we have the next video. And stay crusty, my friends.